Which car? I'm freezing my huevitos off. Comes Rudolph the red-nosed rain wheels. Let's get some lunch. Tell me where uh, the pizza spot is because I don't have my phone. You can't just use your That's smell. use. I can't. <laughs> Only because I got a schnoz, does that mean that? <laughs> so, I'm thinking that I'm going to do heliograms on this. But on this? Yes. yes. What color? color? The titanium metallic. But you're going to be silver on silver. I know. And you know, I've always liked that clean type of look, you know? But it matches your skinny jeans. I don't wear skinny jeans anymore. Yeah, bro. You do. <laughs> if I do go 16 inch. 16 inch. 16 inch. So you're really stepping it up. What width? Well, because mine are 15. Yeah, but the car would look way better with 17s. I know they would. But then I have to, like, uh, get, you know, thinner tires. Yeah. And then it leaves my, and then if it leaves my car susceptible to having to lower it a little bit because I don't want it to sit too high. You know and the overall sudden, rolling diameter is completely the same. Is it? Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. You're not changing the overall roll. So it doesn't, it, it may be an illusion, but at the end of the day, you put a 16 or a 17 inch, it's going to be exactly. But it's going to leave a little space, right? But the little the space is there the same way. It's the same overall rolling diameter. Pizza places up on the right. Oh. No Bertos is in here. I don't know. I mean, you could do, you could do the heliograms. I, I mean, like, I, I think it's, I think it's a good look, but like, obviously on the silver car. The bronze. So someone sent me a render. Ooh, wide swing for such a little tiny car. Bro. Doesn't this thing like self park itself? Bro. Freaking beast. That's how I drift. Yeah, that's how you drift. Why don't they have drive through pizza places? They should have drive through pizza places. They, they have, have a new they're... vegan menu. I know. It's their new vegan menu. Uh, their old vegan menu wasn't good. <laughs> they found out that it was only good for vegetarians, and then all of a sudden they had to get rid of the whole thing. If you go bigger, inherently a wheel's gonna get heavier, right? If you go from a 16 to a 17 inch, from 16 you're gonna have a lighter wheel because there's less material needed to a 17 inch. But that's like only in the same design, right? Yeah. Uh, no, we're gonna, you wanna, yeah. we're gonna go? Stay we'll, we'll stay, we'll, we'll stay. stay. So if you put something heavier that's uh, you know, on the car, then naturally the car's gonna feel slower in response because of the fact that you have to turn that rotating mass. Like, just is what it is. Do they do this type of stuff in anywhere else in like, America, like have all this. You'd have pizza? No, no, no. The option to put like stuff on top of it. They do some places, right? I feel so like. Let me get this straight. You don't think that they have salt and pepper anywhere else? No, no, no. I'm talking about like Parmesan. So, anyhow, so I don't really think that the weight's gonna ultimately be that crazy. I think that the majority of people get too wrapped up in wheel weight. Because yeah. I think that like people need to think about like their their functioning use. I think at some point, weight affects everything, but what we're talking about is like... Minimal, like, right, like little. It's hard, because like when you get these slices that are like big like this, like the thick ones, you yeah. can't fold it so it feels very cumbersome. Yeah. Like how do you jam this in your mouth without now wearing it on both sides? <laughs> like you want the car to look better, maybe handle a little bit better, I think going to like a 17 inch is gonna be like way, like a way better look, but like if you want a little bit more reduction in weight, because the car is like not powerful, yeah. and you want, you know, to have more cushion in the tire and you want to be able to have or whatever, then just go the 16 inch. It all goes back to mass. It all goes back to the, mat the amount of material. So like if you look at a wheel, you're picking a wheel design and you're trying to go for a lower weight. Mm -hmm. Picking a wheel that has a lot of spokes or a lot of face design or a lot of things going on or, you know, even sometimes like really big lips, like all that stuff plays into how much material is needed to make that wheel. And then, you know, the last thing that people kill me with, with wheel weight, is they're so focused on every ounce of wheel weight, yeah. but they never weigh their tires. Yeah. Like, yo, tires weigh... 100%. I'm telling you, listen, back in my drag racing days, Yeah. I hate when I say that, because it sounds like... Like it sounds like thousand my, years old. No, it sounds like my father-in-law when he talks about how he raced in the back 50s in, with his... Back in my days. Yeah. So, <laughs> hang on, so like, when I used to drag race, like, I remember that I had I had a drag radio, I had two drag radials, and one was eight pounds heavier than the other. And that has a lot to do with tire construction. Like they use like the same, what they call carcasses, and it's like the same start of a tire, so they can actually use the same inner to actually then put different treads and different compounds and different things onto a tire. People will still, they'll, they'll, they'll destroy themselves when they pick a wheel over ounces, and then they'll like spend all the money in the world to get something that maybe is like, you know, 
half a pound different, but then they'll put it, they'll just put any tire on the car without weighing it, and you'll pick, they'll pick up five, six, seven, eight pounds yeah. on a tire. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That is crazy. I'm gonna get out of here. Good, let's like, do it. I gotta go back and like actually do some stuff. Yeah. Man, look at that tiny thing. Look it doesn't it. even, yo, it doesn't even need the whole space. This thing though, like. Well, all you have to do is you gotta take it off and let them retint it. Yeah. Could you do that yourself? Probably. Yeah. Probably. We you you spray, you wait till a really hot day and you spray a bunch of, um, what's the stuff that's in Windex? Ammonia. Yeah. There you go. You Ammonia. spray a bunch of that stuff on there and it like will gas out the stuff and you'll Could just he, get uh... it. Your real wipers on. Is it? Your real wiping nothing. You ever watch Dave Portno Portnoy's no. content? No. Never? Never. Barstool never. Sports? I know who he is. I just never had a chance to watch. He does. He does the the one bite. I feel like I feel like he's one. Of, I feel like he's my spirit animal. Vi uh, Vi uh, Vitalis, um Yeah. Oh. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. The place that I like is on my bucket list that I'll never be able to try because of the inherently difficult way that you have to get pizza. Yeah. They don't take orders. They don't take like take out orders. If you go to Times Square and get one of those like line. Yeah, you paid line waivers. I'm just cheap enough where I can't. I can't. I would never pay for certain things. That's like the other day. Like my my boiler, the circulator pump of my boiler went. Now, for those who don't know, that's the same. <laughs> why do you swing so wide? This car is 12 <laughs> centimeters wide. You drive it like it's a tractor it's trailer. Remember well, I remember my, my truck. Remember? I'm so used to my that truck. Jeep. So wait a minute. But how long have you owned this car now? Five months. Five months? It's no, months. it's more than that. Really? Isn't it? I don't know. When did your Jeep get messed up? I don't know. So you mean five in months. so you mean in those five months you haven't been able to figure out that you drive a micro machine, you don't need to swing so freaking wide? I think so. <laughs> That's terrible.